Hi there, thanks for watching this video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the difference between a KAFO and an AFO brace. Now, they're both usually braces that are made of plastic. They can be made of another material, a plastic that's similar in a sense, and it's called copoly. But both of them are made from usually thermoplastic AFOs. Both usually go inside of a shoe when you wear them. But the main difference between an AFO and a KAFO is that the KAFO goes up much higher, crosses the knee, and goes up the thigh. Much bigger brace. I've seen them work great, and I've seen them be cumbersome for someone who struggles with bigger braces. So it can go both ways. I'm a big believer in them actually, but it has to be for the right patient. As one of my teachers used to say, you'd stay below the knee whenever you can, but sometimes you actually have to go above the knee for a fracture, for example, or a knee that just really hyperextending like a, a polio patient sometimes might have a knee that snaps back and really needs that extra support. So that one's when you would use a KFO. But an AFO usually comes to the belly of the calf. It can come down shorter. I would just roughly guess that about 99% of the time an AFO is plastic, plastic or carbon, I should say. And it comes up to basically the height of the belly of the calf. We can use technical terms such as 20 millimeters distal to the neck of the fibula, but I think you get at the point and that's still the belly of the calf, right? That is the main difference between a KFO and an AFO. Both can have ankle joints. The KFO will have a knee joint as well, and there's many different kinds of knee joints. A lot of drop locks is a term that you might hear, or different kinds of knee joint mechanisms out there. But the main difference is the height, and the main difference also is the fact that there is a knee joint on either side usually of the knee to help with severe knee issues. I hope that information helped you. Uh, good luck. Check out our blog posts below and we'll keep talking about the differences between KFOs and AFOs. Thanks.